Yeah, and just say hi, it's the first one I've been on. Okay. Right, hold on. <laughs> right, okay, welcome back to Wimmore Court. Um, this is the first one I've been on for a while, probably since the beginning, the first one that we did. Um, but I'm back, so hello. Um, right, I think Ollie might have gone through this in theory last week, but it's obviously now up, so I'll show you what he was probably meaning. So before, the entrances to these two bedrooms were going to be here and here into that one. What I decided is because this room is quite small and this is all wasted space, I told them to bring this out forward here. What do you mean you told them? I swear I was, I swear it was my idea. Was it? Yeah, because I was like, we should do the wardrobe thing. And I, I, I was standing here. <laughs> I was standing here, you two were chatting, and I was like, guys, like this is a massive waste of space. Like, should we bring this forward? So it was a team effort. <laughs> well, someone, Ollie or I, we're a team, so we, you know, <laughs> we between decided us. to bring <laughs> to bring this wall out so that the entrances into these two rooms go here, so the doors open like this, and then this becomes the wardrobe for this room. So we've taken what was a massive bathroom en suite for that that's room it, because, and given... Because, because I was like, I was looking at this room and I was like, okay, this is like an all right sized room. And then when you went in here, I was like, it's like nearly as big as that room. So we don't need, an, uh, you know, as big a bathroom. That's how the idea sparked. So I noticed that, but at least you did the design in this en suite to make it work, because that's just not my fault. So over to you. <laughs> So this will become the walk-in or wardrobe for this room. And now why that's important is because obviously a wardrobe is like a really big piece of furniture. Not only is it wide and deep, but it's also tall, so it makes the room feel smaller. So by getting the wardrobe out of the main room makes this bedroom, if you come in here, obviously now all we need to accommodate in this room is a bed, a chest of drawers, um, and a desk. So the layout that I've now got is the bed will go here, We've got a chest of drawers. We've actually sort of found a piece of furniture that we can put there because the bed comes quite far. You don't want things that can pull drawers out because then you can't get into the drawers. So it's quite a lot of thinking about how you actually live in a room to actually design the layout and where all the plug points and all that kind of stuff goes. So we've got, we've managed to get the desk in here, everything. So this room actually, bear in mind, is quite a small room. Through moving that out and giving it a little bit more space, we've actually made it quite a decent room. Mm. Um, so I don't think there's much really to explain in here. I mean, no, they're just en suites, so this yeah. is the en suites. But is. what's quite interesting to explain in this one, obviously, where we've taken some of the um, yeah. some of the room for the wardrobe. Be careful because there's like holes in the floor. So this bit here is going to be one of those walk-in showers. Now we did a walk-in shower in the previous um, project that we did and it looks beautiful, it looks really modern, really nice. Um, so we're going to do the same thing again here. So we're going to have it walk in here. So you actually end up using all of this space and then we've got a toilet and a basin going in there. Um, so again, it, it's just maximising space. We're going to have a bit of a walkway, it's a bit of waste of space there, but not much we can do about that really. And then if we go through to this one over here, so this again, the, so sometimes when you're on site and the, I don't know if you can see me because the light's not great in here, but when you're on site, the builders and, and everybody will be, you know, saying, oh yeah, you need to do this and you can't do that. So they had planned it so that the, the shower was going to be there. I think toilet there, if I remember right, mm. and um, basin here. And I thought, it just feels cramped. I don't like this layer. And they said, yeah, but the toilet's got to be over there because of the plumbing, because of the, um, you know, the drainage and whatever. So what I've done, this space here is uh, 1450, that's what it is. So I thought, well, I wonder if you can get 1300 shower trays, and you can. It'll be, they're a bit, you know, um, they're not very common, so I had to go onto like eBay or something to get them, but you can get them. So the 1300 tray is gonna go here, it's gonna shift this way a little bit. The boxing for the toilet is gonna go behind here, and we're gonna have like a little shelf to accommodate the box in which is going to be 15 centimetres and obviously that shelf will mean that people can put shower gel and whatever so it's a double purpose so you hide the the um, soil stack going through you get shelving here you get a really decent shower you get as you walk into the room a big open space rather than it all coming at, at you as you straight away walk in 
Yeah, and so it's just like a really great use of this space. And I think Ollie said last week, we actually nicked a bit more space from- I forgot. Oh, so this was actually before, so I just said that's 1450. Was that 1600 before? And I said, well, I'd rather have more room in here. I can I can manipulate the stuff in the, in the ensuite to make it small, but seem spacious. But you want as much room as you can in, in here. So we've taken 15 centimeters. Um, and in here, it's actually going to be a really nice big bedroom. So we've got, um, I think the desk is going here. We've got a bedroom, a uh, bed, sorry, here. And we've got two um, chests of drawers because putting one just looks stupid. So we're going to put two. And then you must have seen this last week, but this is going to be. The sub won't run up. Last oh, time. right. Okay. So, yeah. So this is going to be the walk in wardrobe for this room. Massive. And it's huge. Like, so much storage for this room. And we're going to get, I think, um, like IKEA do this. Um, like stuff that you can make as you want it and obviously you can have it like staged and stuff so literally this would be, I don't know, I would like a wardrobe like this really. So yeah, it's going to be great in here. Um, so no, I'm really pleased with the plans up here. They've got that, like, I've spent quite a lot of time and I have my mum around going through like, what do you think of this, what do you think of that? And I'm really pleased with how the layout's come out. So I think they've made the best use of space. Um, I'm still working on the upstairs because um, we're contemplating putting in like a, um, like mini cooking facilities or whatever, maybe not a full kitchen, but you know, at least like a pot noodle stand if you like. So, you know, basin, fridge, that kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, I think that's Three. it. We can show you upstairs, but it's quite dark upstairs. I'll tell you what we'll do is so quickly have a look at this room as well. So, coming in here, it's quite a big room, it's a massive room, but if you remember, it always was a big room. Yeah, so this room I've managed to give, because I was wondering whether to give some of that wardrobe space to this room, but I haven't. I've left it as it is. And what we've got here, we've got the bed where Ollie and you are standing at the moment, and then we've got um, two double wardrobes and a chest of drawers. So this room will have two wardrobes um, rather than a triple. Sorry, yeah, two double wardrobes rather than one triple, if that makes sense. And then desk there. Um, that's it, really. There's a lot of space in here. So, you know, tenants can add their own pieces of furniture if they want to. Um, yeah, no, it's really good. Anyway, we'll go upstairs. Bean. Right, so I think the only thing that's different up here to when Ollie showed you guys is that they've built this bit out. So this is obviously going to be the walk-in wardrobe for this room. Um, I've asked them if they can leave it open just because if we do put in cooking facilities up here, they have to be over 30, I think it's 13 square meters or 13 and a half, I can't quite remember. Um, and I think that it is, but I said, well, for the moment, just leave this open because if we need to count this space as the floor space, then that'd be like an extra bit that we can put in. So, so yeah, the idea would probably be that this will be the um, uh, wardrobe it might, it might be the cooking facilities here, but it probably more likely be a wardrobe at the moment. And then we'll probably have cooking facilities over here. Um, so like a little stand here, fridge, that kind of stuff, because then it can all link in with the plumbing. Um, so yeah, I think that's it really up here. I don't think there's much else to show you, you haven't already seen. Showing the other side of the room, obviously. And then through here. Space. It's just a bedroom, isn't it? So yeah. So again, this will have. This, I think this one's bigger than that one. So um, yeah. Again, two facilities and then nice big kitchen area. Uh, bedroom area. I mean, sorry. <laughs> so I think that's it. Um, hopefully, we'll have more to show you next week. And yeah, we'll see you next week. Bye.